So, this is the snowstorm. And it probably doesn't look like much to people who don't live in Atlanta. But the uh, whole city was shut down. And this is crazy. I mean, the street's pretty clear right now. Well, it's clear right here. Pretty clear down there. A little ice down at the bottom. Got ice up here, though. I know my Canadian and Northwest, Northeastern and Western friends think that's nothing. But you know, when you don't have the right tires and stuff, uh, it becomes treacherous. And there's no sense in having all that down here because, oh, last year, this is January, so last year, 2013, no snow. Um, year before that, two or three days of snow. And it's on again, off again. There's absolutely no reason to have a bunch of, uh, you know, spend a bunch of money on something when uh, all you got to do is sit home for a day or two. And, uh, you know, just wait it out. All you got to do is go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of groceries, sit home and get bored, and then you're done. So, yeah, cool. This was pretty, uh, this is pretty incredible for Atlanta, though. My brother-in-law, his commute to, from work to home is normally about 45 minutes. It took him ba, 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 eight hours to get home. He finally got home. He finally got home. Eight o'clock last night, nine o'clock, something like that. My uh, ex-brother-in-law, who lives just outside of Atlanta, let's say an hour, 45 minutes outside of Atlanta, he um, came to Atlanta, he's a potter, he came to Atlanta to uh, get some clay and um, was headed home, got stuck on an exit for hours, decided to go to his son's house, which normally should have been another 30 minutes away from there. So he left the pottery place at 11 o'clock yesterday, got stuck on the exit around lunchtime, 1 o'clock, headed toward his son's house, um, 5, 6, something like that, yesterday afternoon. He actually arrived 8 o'clock this morning. To say that they were worried is an understatement. I mean, I had a phone and all that, but you know, still, it's crazy. But anyway, here I want to turn this around and look at myself. Here I am. <laughs> anyway, here's the deal. It's an argument for learning how to work at home. Thank God, every day when uh, when I realize, you know, when it hits me, man, I don't have to fight traffic. I don't have to do any of this stuff. I don't have to uh, uh, commute. I used to have a 45-minute commute each way. Commutes in Atlanta are horrible. Atlanta is one of the longest commuting cities in the United States. But still, I mean, just the, you know, the ease of just getting up, eating breakfast, sitting down and working, you know, going to the gym when you want to. There's a lot to be said for the laptop lifestyle. It's real, and uh, it can be yours. It takes work. There's a huge learning curve. I'm, I'm not going to uh, um, mislead you about that. There's a very big learning curve. And there are lots of other ways of working from home. i got friends who uh, invest in real estate. I got friends who are network marketers. I do network marketing. That's certainly an extremely viable alternative. There's some nuances and differences between network marketing and internet marketing, which I'll get into sometime. But the bottom line is, if you're not learning how to kill it and bring it home yourself from your home, uh, you're screwing up because the economy changed. Lots of stuff with lurk. Well, lurk. Good Lord, have mercy. See, I've got cabin fever. I can hardly talk.